Hello and welcome you return to the IELTS every day channel. Today our lesson 58, 50, no sorry 57, not 58, 57. It's very easy. We will tell you about a photograph album. Okay, it is a, an album, but there's something special. There's something, there's something special inside. It will tell you, it will teach you about your ability. The ability to do something. You can do something. I can do this, I can do that. But in the past tense, and that's all. In the past tense, and that's all. Cái, cái bài học ngày hôm nay rất rất là đơn giản nha các bạn. Đơn giản cực kỳ. Mình có khả năng mình làm một cái điều gì đó. Ở trong quá khứ. Vậy thôi, hết. Hiện tại đây mình có thể làm I can swim, I can speak, I can... Yeah, a lot of languages. Giống như ngày xưa các bạn đã học có chữ can, động từ can rồi. Đổi thành quá khứ. Vậy thôi. À, ok, now open your book, open your book on page 260. Um, you will learn about the uh, formation, formation of could and can. Um, you have could and the verb, and if you cannot do something in the past, negative tense, it could not or couldn't. And the question, it should be could plus subject and the verb. Okay, I could swim when I was five. Or you can say about your thinking or about the verbs of perception, like see or hear or smell, etc. Okay, we could see the village in the distance. Or I couldn't, I couldn't understand what was happening. I couldn't, I couldn't understand what was happening. Very easy. And here we learn some vocabularies. Photograph, photograph, album, album, could or couldn't, could. Couldn't. Martin. Martin. Or Jenny. Jenny. Okay, now we turn, we return to our screen. We return to our screen. Now look at here the dialogue between the teacher and her student. Jenny is 26. Jenny is 26. She's a teacher. She's in class now. Okay, now she is in class. She asked her, her student. Now, Martin, can you swim? Can is the present tense. Okay, for now. Someone do something. Can do something. Okay, swim. Yes, I can. And, that's, and then Martin tell her, his student, um, sorry, his teacher that he could. He could swim when he was five. So Martin says, I could swim when I was five. Now, of course, now Martin can swim and he said, he added that, he could also swim when he was still five, when he was still five. Khi đã là 5 tuổi thì trẻ con đã được đã là, là, là biết bơi rồi, chứ bây giờ đã lớn hơn rồi, có thể là lớp 6, lớp 7, lớp 8 gì đó. Đó, bây giờ con biết bơi là đúng rồi, nhưng mà con đã biết bơi vào cái lúc con đã mới có 5 tuổi thôi, có nghĩa là biết bơi sớm, nó rất là tự hào. He is very brave about himself. Could you? Cô mới ngạc nhiên, cô mới nói như vậy. Could you? Con có khả năng à? Could you? Yes, miss. Could you swim when you were five? Khi cô đang là ở năm tuổi. When you were five. Could you swim? Could you swim when you were five? À. And then Jenny said, uh, the teacher answered, I could swim when I was three. À. Khi cô ở độ tuổi ba. When I was three, khi tôi tuổi ba. I could swim. Cô đã có thể bơi rồi. Mình sẽ không sử dụng cái chữ là can I can swim nữa mà dùng chữ could swim. Thành Martin, Martin surprised, really surprised, really miss. Oh, vậy hả cô? Really miss. Could you read and write when you were three? À, cô có biết viết và 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 đọc được hay không khi lúc 3 tuổi thôi? Could you read and write when you were three? No, Martin. Of course. Và dĩ nhiên là of course I couldn't. Of course I couldn't. Of course. His teacher couldn't, couldn't read, couldn't, couldn't write when, when his teacher was three. Okay. Now, we look at the um, information in this album. Okay, some months, a month old or two months old. Tức là độ tuổi là years old là tính theo năm. Còn đây là months old là tính theo tháng. Nhưng mới mới sinh ra được vài tuần thôi, tính là tuần tuổi là weeks old đó. Nhưng mà thí dụ giả sử như là sinh ra còn rất là rất là bé luôn, tính theo ngày là days old. À, đứa bé này được sinh ra mới có 3 ngày thôi, 3 days old. 
Đứa bé này sinh ra được một tuần lễ rồi It is a week old Các bạn hiểu như vậy đó Có những cái loại côn trùng hoặc động vật nó sống thời gian rất ngắn Chẳng hạn thì mình nói là vài tiếng đồng hồ cũng được như vậy Some hours old Quan trọng là phía trước cái từ đó là cái chữ chỉ thời gian Sau đó là chữ old nói cái 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 mức độ của nó Ok, now you um, return to the book The book and we read some vocabularies Page 260 To lie on one's friend, to lie on one's friend, mình nằm sấp luôn. To walk, to feed oneself, tự ăn được. Đó. To feed oneself, feed là cho ăn, oneself là tự cá nhân. Đó. To feed oneself là mình tự ăn được. To go hiking, to get married, to go boating, to sail. Okay, I can lie on my friend, she can lie on her friend, or she can walk, or she could walk, or she could feed her herself. When she was four years old, okay, four years old, she could feed herself when she was four years old. Or to go hiking, go hiking. Um, she could uh, go hiking when she was ten, for example, or twelve, for example. She could go hiking and get married. They get married uh, early, so maybe we can say nineteen. She got married when she was nineteen. Or go boating, okay. Is it the same? And to say it is the same. Now, we move on to the next section, page 261, the exercise. So the exercise we asked about, we talked about Jenny. When Jenny was 10, khi Jenny mới có 10 tuổi thôi, when Jenny was 10, she could, she could play the piano. À, lúc đó đã biết chơi, lúc đó đã biết chơi, các bạn thấy là chữ đã biết chơi. She could play, à, she could play, đã, đã biết chơi, she could play. Đó. The piano, she could ride a bicycle. Đã biết đi xe đạp She could ride a bicycle Lúc đó đã biết đi xe đạp Đã could ride a bicycle But she couldn't speak French And she couldn't sew But she couldn't speak French And she couldn't sew Now, draw sentences When I was 10, I could read When I was 10, I couldn't speak English, for example And now, we will focus our attention To the album To the Chinese album Uh Chúng ta sẽ để ý về cái cái bước cái 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 album cái album ảnh, album ảnh của cô Jenny. Là sao đây? One from one to three months old, when she was when Jenny was one to three months old, she could lie on her on her friend. And when Jenny was 18 months old, she could walk already. When she was years two years old, when Jenny was two years old, she could feed herself or very soon. And now, when she was three years old, she could swim already. And then at five, at five she could read, and at six, at six years old she could ride, and at seven years old she could drive a bicycle on herself, by herself, all alone. And when Jenny was ten years old, she could play the piano. She could go hiking alone when she was eleven years old. She could also sew when she was twelve years old, and cook for at fourteen years old. She could type when she was 15 years old and at 18 years old she could drive a car of course. And she got married. She got she got married early at um 19 years old or um when she was 20 she went boating or she could sail. She could sail a boat. And uh, at 26 she could teach she hold a class and she become Um, a miss, a teacher in a school. Okay, now we move to um, the practice, the practice section about a language summary on page 261. Okay, I, he, she, we, you, they could or couldn't or could not, could not do something, try or scream or play the piano. When I, he, she, you, they, cause words was 10, was 18, was 20 years old, for example, or when you or we or they were certain time, so certain um, years old, 10 or 18 or 20 years old. Or we can make a question in the past. We can say, could I swim? Could I, could he, could she, could we, could you, could they swim? When I was, or I, or his was, or when she was, etc, etc. Or when we were, when you were, or when they were 10 or 18 or 20s. Okay, and then we answer yes. Or no, yes, I could, or no, I couldn't. Or yes, 
she could or no, she couldn't, etc. And now I've read some vocabularies for you. Genius, genius, symphony, symphony, orchestra, orchestra, clever, clever, algebra, algebra, Simon Smith, Simon Smith. Okay. Now I repeat those vocabulary for you to keep in mind: genius, symphony, orchestra, clever, algebra, Simon Smith. Okay. The only name that you learn in this lesson is Simon Smith. And now we turn to page 262. It's very easy. It tells you a story about Simon Smith when he was young. Now, Royal Festival Hall in concert. Okay, this concert about a young pianist, the 10-year-old genius with the British Symphony Orchestra. Okay, now I will read the passage. I will read the passage today, right now. Tonight, Simon Smith is playing in a concert with the British Symphony Orchestra. He is only 10 years old. He could play the piano when he was 5. He could also read music. He was a very clever child. He could talk and walk when he was 9 months old. He could read and write when he was 3. And he could understand algebra and speak French when he was 6. I repeat again. Okay, for tonight, Simon Smith is playing in a concert with the British Symphony Orchestra. He is now only 10 years old. He could play the piano when he was 5. He could also read music. He was a very clever child. He could talk and walk when he was 9 months old. He could read and write when he was 3. And he could understand algebra and speak French when he was 6. Okay, the question is the exercise number one, can he read music? So we say, yes, he can. And we insist on the information about the past. He could read music when he was five. Okay, so maybe I can use um, the some term here. Uh, for now, he is 10 years old, so... He could play the piano when he was five. Okay, I will ask the question about playing the piano. Um, can he play the piano? So I answer, yes, he can. And I insist on the information. He could play the piano when he was five. Okay? And I ask him, can he talk? Or can he? Or can he? Can he walk? I say, of course, I answer, he could, he can talk, and he can walk. And I insist on the information, he could already talk, and he could walk when he was 9 months old. Very, very young age, 9 months old. And I, I ask again, can he, can he read or can he write? We say, of course, he can read and he can write. He could read and write, in the past of course, he could read and write when he was only three. When he was three, when he was only three. And then I, I asked one, another, another question about him. Uh, can he understand algebra or can he speak French? I just asked for now. For now, I use can. Can he, can he do this? Can he do that? Can he understand algebra or can he speak French? And he said, yes, of course he can. And I insist on the information. He could understand algebra and he could speak French when he was six. For now, he is ten, four years after already. Okay? The exercise number two and number three is very easy. I just read and then you do it by yourself. Could he read music when he was four? We say, no, he couldn't, but he could read uh, He could read music when he was five, one year later, okay? So it is the same information here, playing piano. Could he play the piano when he was younger, when he was four years old? We say, he couldn't, but he could play the piano when he was five. At four, he could not, but at five, okay for him. And... I will ask a question about at nine months old, 
So he could talk and walk. I will ask him, could he talk and and could he walk when he was maybe eight, eight months old? We say no, he couldn't. He couldn't walk, nor walk or talk when he was eight months old. But he could talk and walk when he was nine months old. One month later, for example. I can ask another question about、uh, reading and writing. When he was three, okay. So at two, when he was two, when he was two years old, could he read and write? We say we answer no. He couldn't. He couldn't read. He couldn't write when he was two years old. But he could when he was three. Okay. The same will be with understand algebra. Or speak French for six years old. So maybe we can ask about five years old. Could he under Could he understand algebra or could he speak French when he was five years old? He couldn't. He couldn't do all of all of that. Okay. Now we move to the exercise. The exercise number three. We will answer、uh, the question with yes, I could or no, I couldn't. Okay, about yourself. Okay, now I will proceed to the、uh, solution about me. Okay, but you, you are different. Maybe you are you are better than me. So we don't care. We just say about our ability in the past. So I say number one, could you read when you were three?、Mm, I couldn't. I couldn't read when I was three. Number two, could you write when you were eight? Um, maybe I could write when I was eight. Number three, could you speak English when you were six? No, I couldn't. I couldn't speak English when I was six. Number four, could you understand algebra when you were ten?、Um, at ten, I attend classes, so I say I could understand algebra when I was ten. Yes, I could.、Uh, number five, could you walk when you were two? When I was two, I didn't remember. But maybe not. So maybe yes. Maybe yes. Maybe yes. So I say yes. I could when I was two. I could walk. Number six. Could you talk when you were six months?、Um, talk at six months. I didn't remember. So I say I couldn't. No, I couldn't. I couldn't talk when I was six months old. And that's it. Our lesson stops、um, right here. And I I, I will summarize. In the past, you say could. In the present, you say can. Trong quá khứ các bạn dùng chữ could. Trong thời gian hiện tại các bạn dùng chữ can. Chỉ có vậy thôi. Còn cách sử dụng nó y chang như chữ can mà ngày xưa các bạn đã học rồi. Y chang như chữ can. Và sau này các sẽ học thêm một ý nữa. Chữ could này nói một ý lịch sử. Nó mời ai làm một việc gì đó. Nói một ý lịch sử là xong. Rồi tạm biệt các bạn.